Well, starting today, there's going to be a lot of activity behind me here at the Niagara Falls storage site in Lewiston as the first phase of removing Manhattan Project era waste has begun. Contractors started the work today and will be stockpiling material on site before they begin removing it off site in about a month to a facility in Michigan. There's between 75 and 100 areas throughout the site that are marked off that have contaminated material. Most of the material being removed in this first phase are heavy metals and some additional radioactive waste. Basically, we're using, we're using small excavators, uh, especially for this initial work, we're doing some of the shallow excavation. So it's a really small excavator. It gets loaded into an off-road uh, dump truck and then taken to a stockpile area. That's uh, We've got it's, it's a pad set up to make sure that that soil stays where it is on that stockpile until it's ready to get loaded into, into, into vehicles. Mm -hmm. The first phase of removing the material will take several months and the work will continue throughout the winter. Of course, a much bigger project, the removal of everything under this cap, which contains over 235,000 cubic yards of radioactive material. Now coming up tonight at 11, I talked to the Lewiston Town Supervisor about this project and how there's a little bit of light that they can see at the end of this tunnel. On your side in Lewiston, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.